Is this your first time handling a kettlebell? Don't worry, I've got you. Hello, hello, Fierce Fitness Gang, Fierce Fitness Team. How are you all doing? Okay, so today we have the kettlebell workout. Is this your first time handling a kettlebell? Have you done kettlebell workout before? Let me know in the comment section. Don't worry come on in i got you let's do this together okay all right so if this is your first time working out with a kettlebell i know a lot of people are kind of afraid of kettlebells because they're like i don't know how to use it i don't know how to handle it am i doing it the right way am i doing it the wrong way so many reasons why they don't even want to start so today i have very simple kettlebell workout that you can do at home if you own one or even though you don't own any you can actually go purchase one after this workout, okay? Don't be afraid of working out with kettlebells because there are a lot of health benefits. There's a lot of benefits, okay, from using your kettlebell to train. Sometimes some people are so busy that they cannot make it to the gym and all that. If you have your kettlebell at home, you can do a good 20 minutes, 30 minutes kettlebell workout and it's full body. You're working your arms, your leg, your stomach. There is so, so many exercises that you can do to train different parts of your body. And kettlebells are very good for your joints also. So come on do not procrastinate start doing your kettlebell workout so yeah here are some of the simple exercises that you can do simple moves okay that you can do with your kettlebell okay so let's just get into it follow along it is not difficult just get your kettlebell and there's something i want to say if you're just starting out you've not used the um, kettlebell before then it is best for you to go for a lighter weight okay and be very careful make sure where you're working out is a flat you know plain surface don't be in a place that is not balanced so any mistake and make sure that you have space enough space that if you're not handling a kettlebell very well you can drop it uh, you know far away from you further from you so you don't hurt yourself okay so that being said these are just some of the simple moves that we are going to be doing today. If you love kettlebell workouts, then let me know. Leave me a comment in the comment section below so we can do more kettlebell exercises. I'll bring you more kettlebell exercises with even more uh, moves that you can actually do. Okay, so right here, we're just using one hand at a time to lift the kettlebell overhead so we walk our hands you know our shoulders very well that's just what we're doing start with your right hand and move to your left or start with your left move to your right it doesn't matter and now don't even think about how many reps you're doing even though you can do five at a time just make sure that you are getting the proper form and you're being very careful since you're just starting out with this equipment and you're not very used to it yet but what I, what I want to say in this video is don't be afraid, okay? Don't be afraid to walk out with kettlebell. I hear a lot of people say, I've not used it before. I don't know how to use it and I don't want to hurt myself. So that's why I decided to bring this simple exercise uh, that you can actually do at home and get same results as all those other professionals and people that have been training for so long with the kettlebell okay so right here we're just going to swing it halfway we're not going all the way down now there's another move that you have to swing it all the way from in between your legs up high and down but i decided since we did the picking up and dropping of the kettlebell i didn't want to add too much of um moves that will affect the back or some people like some people have like back uh, problems so yeah i decided to add some other ones that is comfortable for everyone so someone can find something that they can do with the cut uh, kettlebell right okay but well, when you master the move when you're used to your kettlebell you can do those other uh, moves that are kind of a little bit tricky you know you see uh, people that have been training should i call them professional uh, people that are working out with kettlebell, the professional kettlebellers, if, I, if there's something like that. <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to do in this video, I'm just going to talk you through, because this is our first kettlebell on the channel. I've never 
uh, use kettlebell on this channel. I've not done kettlebell workout on the channel. So I decided, why not? Let me just bring it because it seems like it's kind of trending. A lot of people are working out with kettlebell here. We're doing the kettlebell squats. Okay. Now there's like two ways you can do this uh, squat here. I'm just showing you how you can hold it. Some people hold it the way I'm holding it now. And some people will turn it the other way, like upside down and hold it both ways are actually correct do the one that is comfortable for you and squat down now here we're not doing the very deep squat with the kettlebell there's another squat that you can do holding your kettlebell up and then squatting down deep and making sure that your elbow touches in between your thighs okay that's uh, that's squatting down very deep okay so here you can see that we are working the upper body and at the same time the lower body because we have the weight of the kettlebell on our hands and then the squats as we're squatting down with it we're also turning our legs right so that's the good thing about kettlebell most of the moves that you do are actually affecting almost every part of your body so it's like you're doing a full body workout meanwhile there are some other machines there are some other equipment that when you work with them it's kind of isolated if you're working your back you're doing your back you're doing your arm you're doing if you're doing upper body you're doing upper body if you're training lower body you're training lower body okay so that's just what it is all right okay so here we are going back to moving the hands one after the other okay so just keep it going drop the kettlebell down and raise it up put the kettlebell down and lift it up and raise it up okay so that's what we are actually doing on this um, video okay so just keep it going keep it going keep it going keep it going just take it easy don't rush don't try to do so many um reps just do as much as you can all right if you're tired you can stop take a break and then continue make sure to leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about the whole kettlebell exercise do you love them or you've just been seeing people doing it and you just don't know if you can all right so let me know in the comment section so okay so now we just switch our hands to the other hand so if you're starting with your right hand, like I said before, move it over to your left. If you're starting with your left, move it over to your right hand. And we're just going to repeat this move, okay? So if you, if you can do 10 times for each hand, go ahead. If you can do 15 for each hand, go ahead. If you can do 20 for each hand, go ahead. Just do what your strength can carry you. Do what your body can handle. And remember... If you're starting out, it is advisable that you start small, okay? Do small amount of each and then make the workout in total shorter, okay? Because some people can actually do this whole kettlebell workout for 20 to 30 minutes. Some people can even do for more, 45 minutes to an hour. They're training with their kettlebell. That's because they've been training for a while and they're used to their kettlebell and they can actually work out for a longer time. But you that you're just starting out, start out with short even if it's 10 minutes training with kettlebell that would be something over time you can build from 10 minutes to 15 minutes from 15 minutes to uh 20 minutes from 20 minutes 30 minutes and you just build from there okay you, you have more strength and you can uh and endurance so you can handle more so that's just the case okay so right right now we're lifting the um kettlebell with both hands up to our chest level and we put it back down and we're going to lift it back up okay and when you're doing this watch carefully so you see the hand movement you can see how my hand shifts when i get up or close to my chest area i move my hand to hold it in a different position and before i drop it down i move my hand back to the position where i started from so as you as you are if you're following along also watch closely what i'm doing so you can understand it be very careful so you don't accidentally drop your kettlebell on your legs or something like that okay all right so now we will start with the uh, swing okay all right so hold it properly don't 
don't over swing it so you don't flip it over your head and lands behind you or something or crash something in your home if you're working out at home or something okay so have a firm grip of the kettlebell and then start swinging okay this is like the easy way to swing the kettlebell of which they have other very difficult and complicated way of swinging the kettlebell that you really need to master the craft before you can do it so hence i'm here with just very easy and simple moves that are beginner friendly that is perfect for first timers okay so when we're doing the other squat i had told you about the deep squat where your elbows will be touching your inner thighs here it is hold your kettlebell if you love holding it upside down do so if you love holding it this way grab it firmly and then squat down okay all right there are different types of squat that you can do some people squat and jump with their kettlebell but like i said before i have beginners i have first timers in mind so i am trying to keep everything as simple as possible so everybody can quickly understand it and it's like of course if it's this one i can do it because sometimes when you see those other ones you cannot do it okay so that brings us to the end of today's workout please subscribe like and share the video if you love it don't forget to comment below and let me know if you want more kettlebell workout thank you very much <laughs>